Hi, um, I'm Jason. I'm Ethan's father. He asked me to share some things on Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish um, holiday. It actually is the very first day of the Jewish New Year. It's the first day of the seventh month of Tishri on the Jewish calendar. And it's very significant. We can't get into the whole detail of Rosh Hashanah. We're going to have to do this in several parts because there's just so much, especially prophetically. There's a lot that has to do with Rosh Hashanah. Now, it's, it's one of the months that gives us a glimpse, a picture of the uh, event of rapture. And uh, we'll try to touch on that as we go. But to understand Rosh Hashanah, we really need to take a bigger look at a lot of events. Um, for example, um, the reason it's important to understand the Jewish calendar is because if you read the scripture and you understand the Bible, in the last days we go from the Gregorian calendar back to the Jewish calendar. Now I'm not going to prove that right now, but I can in future uh, videos. Um, so things you have to understand are like um, the ninth of Av. The ninth of Av is a very um, it's a very serious time for the Jewish people, the world really, because we, in America, we are spiritually connected to Israel. And the ninth of is, a, is the worst day in the, in the calendar year for the Jewish people, because the ninth of Av is the, the day that the temple was destroyed, first by the Babylonians, and also by the Romans, 655 years in the, you know, later on. It's, uh, it's the darkest day for the Jewish people. And that happens this year on July 29th. The reason it's important to have an understanding of what goes on with the Jewish calendar is because you have something known as Teshiva, which is the 40 days of repentance. You see, it's a time period that God looks at our hearts. And within that time period, Rosh Hashanah happens. Rosh Hashanah is, um, is also known as the day of the day of trumpets. Um, Feast of trumpets. Our Feast of trumpets. Thank you. Uh, the purpose of the trumpets is to wake people up. And if we, if we've ever been in a time where people need to wake up, it's now. The reason I want to talk about this now is because most of the time people will teach on it as it's happening. And the, the 40 days of repentance is something we should prepare for. We have to understand the significance of Teshiva. Teshiva is a time period where God examines our hearts and looks at where we are because the scripture says God God measures, the, he tests, I'm sorry, he examines the heart, he tests the mind, and he rewards those according to their deeds. And that happens during the 40 days of Teshuvah. God sets up the following year, whether it be for just judgment or for a reward. So people have to understand the significance beforehand so that they can prepare. Because it's a time of repentance. It's a time for returning back to God. And people need to understand this before it happens. Now, Teshuvah begins on September 14th, and it ends on October 14th of this year. So we have some time, but it's important that we touch on it ahead of time. Um, as we said before, Rosh Hashanah is, is the time of trumpets. It's to wake people up, get people to realize that they've already started the, the time of repentance. But people get busy in life. They need that reminder. Um, there's a scripture I want to read that is very significant to this um, feast. It's 1 Corinthians 5, verse 8. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, which represents sin, nor with leaven of malice, which is the will to do evil, or wickedness, but the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Bread represents life. We need bread to survive. So, um, that's biblically 
bread is symbolic of not just nourishment, but it's also symbolic of Jesus. Sincerity and truth is important because there's scripture after scripture after scripture. And Jesus himself warned us, in the last days, many will fall away. It literally means step away from the truth. And we are seeing that right now. It's happening before our very eyes. So you have to understand the significance of truth because truth and faith go hand in hand. And not just faith, sincerity. The scripture mentions sincerity. When you speak, there's power, the power of life and death in the tongue. But it's not a matter of the tongue as much as it's a matter of the heart. Because the scripture tells us that out of the mouth reveals Positive. So out of the mouth reveals the heart. <clears throat> okay. So you understand a time of repentance. Sincerity and truth are very important. Not doing evil, having a wherewithal to recognize that we are tempted to do evil. It's part of our nature. We have to make a point. To repent of our sins. We have a, to make a point to walk in sincerity and truth and not malice, the will to do evil. Yom Kippur, as we mentioned, is when the trumpets sound to wake people up. And in, uh, in 2020, it's, it's on, at sundown on 918, which is a Friday, and it ends on Sunday, sundown on 920. See, the Jewish day starts at sundown of the previous day and ends at sundown of the following day. That's why the Jewish calendar and the Jewish day, you have to understand how things work with the Jewish calendar and the Jewish day to understand the prophetic of what the scriptures say. Like I said before, Revelation reveals to us that we will return to the Jewish calendar during the time um, of the tribulation. Okay, so, Yom Kippur. Um, Rosh Hashanah happens on the first day of the month of Tishri. Ten days later, it, it initiates the first ten days, the days of awe. It ends on Yom Kippur, which is going to be set down in 927, and uh, from 9:27 will begin. It will begin, and it will end on at sundown on 9:28. That's the day of atonement. That's the day that uh, God passes the judgment of how your following year is going to be. Because remember, He's measuring your heart. He's looking at the heart and seeing if you're living in malice, or seeing if you're living in truth and sincerity. The, the next feast that comes up is the Feast of Tabernacles. Tabernacles, all these feasts are very significant prophetically, and we'll get into that more and more. The Feast of Tabernacles <clears throat> is a feast that is shared not just by the Jewish people, but also the Gentiles. It's a time, it's a picture, literally, of the millennial reign, because we'll all come together in the millennial reign. <clears throat> that happens on uh, Friday, October 2nd, through October 9th. It's on, it happens on the fifth day of the month of, 15th day of Tishri, sorry. Mm -hmm. So, these are, these are the fall feasts. These feasts all happen in the fall. And they're significant prophetically, as I said before when we get into that. Um, it gives us a glimpse of the future. It gives us a picture of what's gonna happen. And with that, I just want to say thank you for listening. I hope I hope this helps. And uh, as we continue on, I hope that we all get something out of this. Thank you.